You know, it's like down thumbers don't understand English. When spaceweather.com gives us an update saying that we don't know anything about this potentially hazardous near Earth comet that is going to be passing by Earth at a record distance, but it's probably going to cause a meteor shower. That means Earth's atmosphere is going to get hit by the debris. Do you hear me? Anything that comes off this comet and ends up hitting Earth's atmosphere is debris. Go ahead and down thumbs your own ignorance if you'd like, and you can keep down thumbing. All right? Down thumbs up your butt, Joe Boo. All right. <laughs> Holy crap. Earth's neighborhood looks pretty busy. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents Party Dance Time. We got two comet asterisks coming in high and tight, right by Earth. How tight? You might ask. The closest comet in 246 years approaches. A pair of comets showing very similar orbits are approaching Earth. We're over at spaceweather.com. I'm back. I'm talking about comets. I don't give a shit if you down thumbs this video, because I'm just bringing you facts. Well, as far as I know them. We're over at spaceweather.com, and you see, I'm talking about two potentially hazardous near Earth binary comets. That's right, you heard me correct. Comet 252P linear and Comet Big Asterisk 14. It's a 1 4, good buddy. Okay, there's an update at the bottom of this thingy. Update There is a chance that the comet's approach could cause a minor meteor shower. This is according to the International Meteor Organization. Okay, so it's official. We could get hit by its tail and some of its debris. Because my big point is, if this thing is going to make a close approach to Earth, 0.036 astronomical units, or 5.4 million kilometers, now that sounds far away, but remember Comet Ison's tail and coma? It was giant. It was like seven suns linked together. I don't know, 12? Bad at math. Modeling by meteor forecaster Mikhail Maslov indicates that there might be a weak episode of faint, very slow meteors on March 28th through the 30th from a radiant near the star Funny looking backwards, UY. Leporous. Little is known about the meteors from this comet, so estimates of the meteor rates are very uncertain. Maslov's models suggest no more than 5 to 10 per hour. All right. Comet brightens as it approaches Earth. On March 21st, Comet 252P linear will make a close approach to Earth, only 0.036 AU, 5.4 million kilometers away, or about 16 million miles. This is the fifth closest cometary approach on record. And as a result, the normally dim comet could become an easy target for backyard telescopes. Now why has everybody always got to put their telescope in the backyard? Why can't you be a proud amateur astronomer? Have some balls, people. Put your telescopes in the front yard and let everybody in your neighborhood know. Yeah, I look at the stars while well, you're looking at your television. Who's the dumbass? Uh, we're all dumbasses in this together. In fact, it is brightening much faster than expected. About 0.5 magnitudes a day. Come at 252P linear has surpassed expectations and is now bordering on naked eye visibility for southern observers. I'm recording this on the 16th, so in five more days, that means this mofo could get bright. And uh, so yeah, I don't know, maybe don't be near the ocean on the 21st to the 28th? Sounds good. Since March 7th, the comet has brightened about 0.5 magnitudes per day, says Metiazzo, and now is near 6 magnitude. The comet's atmosphere, coma, is expanding rapidly too, from 10 arc minutes on March 7th to 35 arc minutes on March 14th. It may reach one degree across March 21st. This is a southern hemisphere event. At closest approach on March 21st, the brightening comet will speed through the constellations Triangulum Australis and Apis. Observers south of the equator can use this ephemeris to point their telescopes in remote places with very dark skies. It is possible that no telescope will be required. Naked eyes might suffice. Ah, with my naked eyes. I saw the falling rain coming down on me. I was keeping you updated on the updates. Because this is interesting shit, man. I don't give a crap. If you aren't interested, if you aren't interested, why are you watching? Why are you watching a Thor News video? You know, that don't make no sense. You know, you know what I'm saying? The story is so fascinating. Even AccuWeather.com is talking about it. Rapidly brightening comet 252P linear to pass near Earth. Oh, wow. They lit this story out at 420. <laughs> Sweet. And look, we had six. Near-Earth asteroids pass by today, too, were 1.4 lunar distances away. So these are strange days indeed. I know, maybe the doubters are right and all this data is fake. So I'm wasting my time. But who knows, maybe we'll get hit 
the giant chunk of space rock. I'm gonna keep my eye on these two comets, and hopefully they will just put on a good show in the sky, and they won't kill nobody. I ain't saying this, Doomy. I'm just saying it's weird. Doom ain't my forte, man. I'm Thor. I saved the day. But we got a lot of brand new asteroids, and when comets break up, they leave chunks. And I think those chunks are called asteroids. Just telling you what I know, okay? Peace out. I'll keep you posted. I'm a Terry Space Underwear in your face, dickweed. Not you. You're cool. Strange days indeed. God bless everybody. I'll keep you guys updated.